you're going to see a crazy session, two female out of control, one-year-old dogs. I'm going to use exercise and impulse control to calm them down. I'm going to explain to you how to use exercise and impulse control to calm your own crazy dogs down. This dog has a serious impulse control issue, and this is the beginning of fixing that. She says, I want to go over there. I say, you can't go over there. She says, yeah, but I pull my mom down the street every time I'm on a leash. And I say, those days are over. You have to say, those days are over. Every time she leaves me, I'm pulling her back and then creating a loose leash. And she goes, well, I'll try this. And I go, no, that's not going to work for you either. This is the way to do when you have these out of control, overstimulated, under socialized, super high energy dogs. And I'm going to go over everything that you need to do. So now look at her walking well, walking great. I barely corrected the dogs. The dogs corrected themselves. They're the ones who are on a leash and just leaving me. I added about two inches of a correction, but it was timed correctly. And that was the most bang for the buck. And it impacted those dogs' brain deep in their brain, way deeper than treats next to me ever will. Imagine just using a treat with this dog for loose leash walking. Are you kidding me? It will never work. These dogs need bigger stuff than that. They need real changes. So now we're going to get, and then we're going to go back to the impulse control thing. Now this is exercise. By the way, a lot of you dog, a lot of you people have dogs exactly like this. You might not think you do, but your dog basically pulls you everywhere until a mile into the walk, they start to uh, relax. So they're, they're as bad as these dogs. Your dogs basically see a door and unless they're in a perfect sit stay, they fly through the door. And even if they are in a sit stay, once you release them, they fly through the door. Your, many of your dogs, they see a person comes in your house, they jump on the person. They basically have no hold back in them unless you are physically holding them back. I don't hold dogs back. That leash thing I just did with that dog, there was no holding back. There was corrections when the dog left and it was a loose leash instantly. That's what people have to learn. And that's what nobody seems to know. Their dogs are constantly pulling away from them on a leash while they have the collar, whatever. All right. The other thing that's giant for you and your dogs and these two dogs is exercise. I'm not talking about walking your dog. Walking your dog is great. You got to do it. It's good for desensitization and all that other stuff. But the bigger thing is real exercise. So here's the other dog is real down to the bones exercise. These two needed it. They do not get enough exercise at all, okay? I'm not gonna go into the client's life. It doesn't matter. They don't get enough exercise, okay? So you're gonna see Prince be like this with them. Be all over them, be pinning them. Why did I let it go? Is it because it's great for Prince to pin them? It's not aggressive. And there's some sexual energy in the air which makes things a little crazy, but I let him do it because they needed it, right? And I could have stopped him any time from, from chasing them and pinning them, but he's doing it, I think, because he knows they need it and because, because I just let it go. But it's the best thing for them. They have to get this fast twitch energy out of their muscles. And we had to, do, we had to go big today. We need big solutions because both these dogs are out of control. Out of control. Like your dogs at home. Out of control, some of you. Okay. So the answer is not sits and stays and downs and treats. It's not e-collars. It's none of that stuff. It's get their energy. See, there's some almost a mount right there. But I just let Prince go nuts with these guys. These dogs are significantly changed. Look at that dog. That dog goes, yeah, I'm on a leash, but uh, it, it means nothing to me. I just go where I want to go. And it's the first time ever that the dogs have been held back when they want to get somewhere. And I did this the whole session. I let one dog play with Prince. And then I made the other one hold itself back. Eventually, they, they give up and they go, okay, I'm on a leash. Now, look at this one. This one's going, I'm on a leash, but I feel like going down there. And I go, well, nope, well, nope. She goes, yeah, but I, I always go where I want to go. And I go, I don't care. It's hard to me. It's hard for me to tell you how a little I care that a dog says, yeah, but I want to get to that place. And I go, 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. You have to have it. Why am I always like sound all like hardcore and like, I, I don't care. You know why? It's because I'm trying to impart this attitude on you guys. Like you guys need to, you guys need to get a little bit up to where I am. Hence, I have to be like, you got to be this way. You got to be like, you have to have, look at me. I'm like exasperated to some of these dogs pull so much. I mean, this is a 10 minute video is an hour session. This is probably 30 minutes into the session already. I just can't show you everything. And there's some boring parts and whatnot. So, so yeah, Prince is going to go nuts and pin these guys and watch how happy they are when they get up. Look at them. They're like, we love it. We love it. They love it because they have all this pent up energy and mental stimulation and they're bored in life. And this is exciting. And look at, even if Prince walked away, they would be jumping on him to go, let's do this more. Let's do this more. Let's do this more. They love it. They love it. These are pits. She's a pit mix. The other one's pit. These dudes essentially don't feel pain. Essentially. They, pits are the strongest. They're, they're, there's something about a pain tolerance that's just different. I've seen them do things, running into things, launching into the pool with reckless abandon that is different than any other dog. So this roughness is what they want and what they need to get that energy out of their muscles. And I'm going to say it again. It's like it almost has to be out of their bones. Okay. It needs to go that deep. We can't go half assed with this stuff. Okay. Walk's not going to do it. Now, can she do this in life? I talked to her about ways to do it in life. It's hard. Okay. It, it is hard. How are you going to really let them be rough at a dog park and whatnot? It's hard. It's hard to do. Okay. The gray one needs to learn that just because she wants to get in the middle of the play that she can't. The two females, there is some weird energy between the two females. Uh, they came for another session. Oh, you ever seen Prince jump on someone? He just jumped on her. Why? On one of my trainers. Why? Because the energy and the whole thing is just off a little bit. There's a, and you have to be aware of that when you're doing dog to dog stuff. Prince, you've probably never seen Prince jump on a person. And he jumped on one of my trainers someone that he loves because there's a sexual energy and just an energy in general that is that is weird like like look at him mouthing her her leg then here's the pinning i generally don't let this go but i'm letting it go because look at this dog this dog's like this is the greatest thing ever look at her she loves it and she needs it more than she loves it she needs it look at the energy being expelled from her during this you think this happens in real life? The two kind of play, the two females kind of play together, but it's it's the same female. It's boring to them at this point. It needs to be a new dog. That's why I always tell you guys, people come out and they go, oh yeah, my dog plays with uh, the other dog at the house all the time. And I go, it doesn't matter. It's better than nothing, but it kind of doesn't matter. It's the same way people go, oh, I go, what kind of extra? Every, every single, I rarely put on here, every client I say, we talk about exercise. And they either say, oh, yeah, they play with the other dog or they say, um, oh, yeah, we have a big backyard. And I go, it doesn't matter. Your backyard doesn't matter. The other dog. Look at that dog. Look at that white one. I'm not even giving a correction. She, I'm just stopping. And the dog is hitting me on the leash. They, they got to learn. The leash means something. And they got to learn just because I want to get there does not mean I get there. Because every time they fly somewhere and they get there, they get reinforced for it. But this dog, look at this dog. Look at this dog, head movements and eye movements. It needs it. It wants it. Again, these this breed, they're rough. They want the roughness. I would generally not let it get this rough. I just wouldn't. But it was so important for these two dogs to be pinned and to use this different energy in their muscles of getting pinned and being held down. And there's some dominant stuff there too. They need to learn that they're not the, they're not the, uh, bees knees that they don't do everything they want to do that that there are other oh here watch this so they go oh there's doorway i fly through doorways and i go yeah yeah, yeah no, no you used to fly through doorways now there's a wide open doorway they're not going through it then they get released oh joel why didn't you do a sit stay because i don't want to do a sit stay sit stays are boring and sit stays do very little how about the dog learns on its own it holds itself back without being asked you don't want to give a cue you're walking down the, the, the street and the dog lunges at our dogs. You don't want to be like, 
give a cue to not lunge. You just want your dog not to lunge. You, they see an open doorway. You want them to hesitate. They see a person walking in the house. You want them to hesitate on their own without cues. It's enough cues. You guys give too many cues. Trainers give too many cues. You're talking too much. It's enough. If this video helped you, okay, with your own crazy dog, subscribe to this channel, okay? Also, don't forget, like, comment, all that good stuff.